Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your host, Paul Markle. And today we're going to talk about gun registration, fact versus fallacy. What exactly are we talking about right there? If you listen to Hollywood, if you listen to the left, if you talk to people who live in the state of New York, what you'll find out or what they think is all guns are registered all over America and that firearms registration is common. That is a fallacy. But why do people think it is a fact? Well, because if you have Hollywood, you have the politicians in New York, politicians in California, politicians in Massachusetts, what they do is they've created a precedent where they establish a gun registration program. And by doing that, they make other people, non-gun people, think that all guns are registered or all guns have to be registered. Well, what is registration? If you register a gun, what are you de facto doing? You're de facto asking for permission from whatever government agency in order to possess that thing. If you register your car, you're getting permission from the state to operate that car. Think about it. If you don't register your car and you're driving down the street and you get pulled over for speeding, what do you find out quick, fast, in a hurry? If you're driving an unregistered vehicle, you're going to be in trouble. Well, what they've established through Hollywood, through the big media, if you listen to news reporters on the big news networks, you would think that everyone in America is required to register their handguns. And what is registration? Registration is seeking permission from the government to possess said item. Do you believe that your guns and your gun rights need to be registered and approved by the government? 